hey guys you're welcome back to my channel and um, if you are new here you're very welcome now please you need to go watch the first part of this tutorial very very important now as you can see to arrange my panels I need to attach two papers together and folding it like this I have a crease line and on this crease line I ruled a line okay and this line is representing my side front and my side back okay like a side seam line kind of all right so now this is my first panel like i said in my first video you i did not call through this and that's why it's still like you know together so here i have arranged the panel so you know in my in the next clip i'll be discussing with you how i was able to arrange it to make it look this way okay so now let's get started all right guys this i have already arranged arranged it i did it on the floor and it was not easy i'm telling you it wasn't easy so i'll just quickly explain the method i used you know in arranging the panels all right you know, i said in my previous video that cutting the side um, seam line okay the side front and the side back this is the line that represents it so the first thing you will do is just to ensure you rule a line okay that will indicate the side fronts or that will represent the side front and the side back and you know as i was cutting in my first in, a, in my previous video i told you that you won't cut through okay so i did not cut through at all this side seam line yeah so i didn't cut through i only cut up to like one eighth before the hem line okay so i didn't cut it through so and that, that was why i was able to separate the panels this way before you start arranging these panels what i did first was to measure one inch from here towards the left one inch towards the right i mean both sides of this line you will measure one inch all right and i ruled the line here here faintly so if you don't want you can just it's the kind of temporary line to serve as a guide for you as you are trying to arrange okay after doing this i place the panel on it so and like i said this is a guide on this on this area on this part so coming to the end of the panel so of course this is the first panel this is up like probably automatic and this line is going to be your guide for just this one okay so but the, the other uh, panels you i measured from here to here four inches okay and after measuring four inches i marked this look at my marking so and i placed it this way all right so after measuring four inches measuring it placing your tape this way the the points could fall here it could fall here it could fall here all right but all you need this point for is a guide okay so placing it ensuring that it is here and making sure it touches this line the end point of the panel like this is the end point may not touch this point this four inches point it may not touch it but just ensure that at least the this line touches it what i mean is that you know usually the four inches are supposed to be here but i didn't do that so after ensuring that from here to here is four inches so it doesn't matter if it falls here or it falls here or it falls here i didn't just take note of that all i did was to ensure this is a guide for me and probably this is a guide for me and placing it this way okay so like i said i haven't made this before so i wouldn't know how the outcome is going to look like but i just want to believe that it's going to be okay all right so and that was exactly what i did here as well from here to here i measured this is my point okay and i'm ensure that the this curved line this curved edge of the panel touches the point so it doesn't the, the peak the top of it does not have to touch do you understand so it's not compulsory that the top must touch it you know as long as the curve line the panel itself touches it i think it's for me i think it's not it's not bad right and here i did not measure from here to here i did not measure just to be honest i just placed it and i you know continue spreading right so i finished spreading the whole panels up to this panel here the smallest one here so the smallest one what i did i just cut part of the um, side here part of it and i used my tape added it to the main paper before i was able to do this because the paper itself wasn't enough to accommodate everything right so this is basically what i did and the same thing i did here i repeated on this side as well so don't forget that this my side is the front and this is the back so this is basically what it's all about before i will cut i will ensure that i add some paper to the area where the paper did not cover the main paper like this can you see paper didn't cover here it didn't cover here and it did not cover part of this you know it didn't cover so all i will do right now is to add some paper here just to ensure every all the panels are well laid 
okay, laid on a paper. So that's what I would do. So once I'm done with that, I'm going to take my long ruler and place it here and rule the line to the end points. I would ensure that this place is cut straight. Don't forget that this is our waistline. This is for the back. This is our waistline. All these panels, you know, all these ones, waistline for the front. So cutting it like this must be on a straight line. So and I'm going to use my ruler and pencil to just indicate the straight line first before cutting. It must be cut straight, right? So, but before I decide to cut straight, of course, that's why I need some paper, you know, just on the background so that all the panels can be laid properly on, on it, right? So that's what I will quickly do. Then when I'm about to cut, then I can, probably if there's any other explanation to give, I can give, right? I am done adding paper to cover up areas where the paper did not cover. Can you see? Don't forget, this is my panel. This is my panel. So I added paper here and I added white paper here as well, this side. So, and the upper part as well, this side. So, and I will ensure I use tape to secure. So what I will do right now, I'll just place my, this is the first panel, see number one, this is the back, okay? So I'll just put my ruler here. And ensure you rule straight. It might not be perfect, okay? So please, don't, don't be, don't be worried that it's not perfect. So look at what I'm saying. I said it might not be perfect. So with my straight ruler, can you see where the line is, what the line is giving me right now? So can you see how, how far this line is to this panel? So what I will do, I won't be worried at all. Do you understand? I will just do it that way. Okay? Or better still, to be uniform enough, I can just place it this way and cut part of it. So but let's just leave it the way it is right now. Let's leave it the way it is. So I will do the other side as well. So I'm going to place it on the floor so that you have the full view. So can you see how it looks right now? So the line for this panel, this set, the seventh panel on the back, can you see the distance between the line and the panel? Can you see? See this? So, but for the front, it's, it's a bit close. So what do you think we should do? So all I would do is just to blend. So I'm just trying to connect this side back to this line, right? So I'm connecting to this line as well. So, and I'm going to do it this way and curve it here. Following the side. So probably, probably I can just reduce this side a little because of the distance. This distance is quite high. Let me just measure it, measure it. So I have that are two and a half inches from the edge. So, and here I have just one and quarter. So that's one and quarter minus two and a half. That's about double of it. So what I would do to be on the safer side, let me just reduce it by one and quarter. So meaning I'm dividing this by two to have the same measurement I have here. I hope you understand. So I'll just measure out the one and quarter and just try to blend in. Just try to blend in. Let me see how I can do this. So that means I'm going to be cutting some part off, but I think it's better because I don't want it to look funny at the end of the day. So I think it's not bad this way, right? So let's just maintain what we have. So let me blend it 
a little here. So let's follow this first line now, okay? This line. Let's follow this line that is close to the panel instead of this one that is far away. Instead of this one, okay? So this is what I will do. So, so this is what I will do. The last thing before I cut out, this is where I want you to take notes. This is the side, the, the hemline, the end of the side seam line for both front and back. And I, we need to curve it. We need to curve it. And one more thing that I don't want to forget. While you're spreading, once you make sure that the, the, the measurement you have from here to here is the same thing as the measure, measurement you have from here to here. I hope you understand. So if you have like two inches here, for example, make sure that you have the same two inches here before you can now start. So this has to be um, balanced first before the rest of the panels will be, you know, before the rest of the panels will come on board. I hope you understand. So now I'm going to um, blend that edge because we can't leave it that way. So don't forget this is the zipper allowance. Zipper allowance. If you don't label this thing, this pattern well, you'll get confused because it's becoming somehow to me now. So and that's why you need to just take notes so that you won't make mistakes. So like this, I don't need this. This is my zipper allowance, so I have to cut off every SS. So this is the SB side back. I'll cut this way, like this, cut this way, then start cutting the waistline. And um, what I'm thinking is, instead of taking it too deep this way, I can just curve it like this. Okay, so let's... So I'll take it to the floor now. This is the full view. Can you see the hemline? Okay, it's a bit curvy. And the zipper allowance as well. The center back, the center front, and the straight line. Can you see? This is the straight line and the side back and side front. Okay. So, and as for the the allowance, the added allowance, when I was trying to straighten the, the waist, you know, uh, about one and quarter of an inch is added to the side. Okay? So, and I will find a way of, you know, trying to blend it out, cut it out in a smooth manner. Okay? So here I am reducing it by one inch. You know, I had a 1.25 there before so now i am just trying to remove one inch i'm blending it okay with the rest of the waistline so i'll be left with just cut of an inch which is not bad at all and this is um this is the end result so i'll be using cutting on my fabric and be adding seam allowances on the waistline seam allowances on the the side and the hemline as well Okay, so the only side that will not have seam allowance is the center back, the zipper allowance, okay? So um, this is my fabric. This fabric is very cheap and very, very light. It's a less quality fabric, I am telling you. So here I folded 
my fabric and place my pattern on it and I've cut adding my seam allowances this is very very important and now that I've cut out here this is the side seam line I'm trying to notch or put a mark or a marking on it and here is my uh, back okay so and this is just to avoid confusion by the time I remove the pattern completely you know separate it from the fabric so that I won't you know just just to avoid mistakes anyway so here I'll be gathering this waistline this is the front waistline this is the back waistline so I'll be gathering it instead of pleating so if you want to pleat you can go ahead and pleat but for me I prefer to gather because gathering makes it look a bit fuller all right so here are my bands my back I cut four of this okay two will be without um, zipper allowance and two will be with zipper, uh, zipper allowance and the, the front as well I'm going to be cutting on fold and I'm cutting two all right guys these are the band I have cut the band so like I said for the back I'm going to cut four and I have done that already okay so make sure you trim out the x-axis okay so uh, you know I said that I will be removing the zipper allowance from two out of four okay so cutting four this is the one that contains the zipper and it's also the one that has the the strongest um, interfacing this is a bit hard not that hard but it's still paper stay but it's just that it's not as soft as the one that I will use to turn it okay so this is the one that we used to stun it and like I said for the back it's not going to have a zipper allowance so you're going to remove the zipper allowance completely from it before you cut I hope you understand my point and for the front I have this unfold I cut it unfold okay so and the, so the soft interfacing is the one I used for the one that I'm going to be using to turn so so I have this ready so right now I'm going to take the outer one which contains or which has the stronger or the harder interfacing so this is it for the front so and I'm going to attach it to the back this way of course this is the front and this is the side of the front side front the two sides of front so this is side back I'm going to attach it this way side back side to side and I'm going to bring this one this is the side for this one I'm going to bring it to this very end I hope you understand so let me just place it this way so that you guys would be able to see what I'm doing. So this is how it's going to look like. I'm going to join this with half inch seam allowance to make it one, right? So this is the first thing I'm going to do. Can you see? I have joined it. And I also notched the center front. Don't forget that the front is a wrap design. About five inches is going to be going on both sides, aside from the main front. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So it's going to connect at the center front okay so right now i'm going to bring my my pattern and show you what to do next this is my cut out fabric and you remember this side this is the side that connects both the front and the back okay so this is the back while this is the front and you know this side i hope you remember this side right so the very first thing we will do is to connect this side. So you are just, you know, I told you to notch or just put a point, a mark on the center here. So just bring these two sides together and so you join it together. So this is the side that represents the front and the back. So with the, um, half an inch or whatever measurement you added as your seam allowance, you just use it and join these sides together. Then after joining, don't forget that this side is our waistline for the back. That's why you need to label it and even your fabric as well. So this is the front, this is the waistline. So I'm going to gather the, this front and I'm going to gather this back, okay? To the measurement that I have on my band. I hope you understand, okay? So now this point, this side that I said you should join is what would be aligned to the side back and side front. This seam line, I hope you understand. So, but let's just gather it and see how it looks like first. Before you gather, sorry, I forgot to say this. Before you gather, you will come to the hemline. Okay? You'll come to the hemline. 
don't don't forget this is the hemline the curvy part so you will start from here the end the so-called center front okay here the end here you will fold in you can overlock all round all round to the end okay all round set then after that you can now fold in right but i won't do that here because this fabric is very very light in fact it's just like paper so i won't be doing this overlocking thing so what i will do is just to hem i'll fold it in you can start from here don't forget you're not going to touch the center um back this is the center back you don't have any business there until you are ready to fix your zipper i'll just fold mine like this and fold it again and so all round to this curvy part to the end here okay but if you have a good fabric because this is the cheapest fabric i could get i wanted something that is less expensive a fabric that is very very cheap so this fabric is just like paper so i'm very very careful and it's very light okay so you know like i said i haven't made this before so i just wanted to see how it's going to look if it's beautiful if it's good or if there's any mistake i can try to correct you understand before i now make use of a very good or quality fabric so then you hem you hem it as, as as usual so that's what i wanted to say now let's go on and stitch the side then do the hemming okay and gather accordingly so i said i was going to hem the down part it wasn't easy at all the the, the fabric is like it's something else so and you know it's not for anyone it's just for me so and of course the fabric is very cheap so maybe I'll be doing that later, but please ensure you get a quality fabric to make your own. But you need to get calico or something that's a fabric that is not that expensive and practice first. Okay, so I'm just going to leave the hem line for now. All right, so let's go over. Now, this is the side. I have stitched the side and I also um, ran some gather stitches on the waistline. So here I have my back and the other side, this side is my front. So all I would do right now is to ensure i gather i gather this one the back to the um, band that i have okay and don't forget that your zipper allowance is also included okay so just gather that and you can also pleat but for me i prefer to gather and if you look at the picture closely it was gathered it wasn't and it's fine now when it is gathered it looks fuller unlike if it's a pleated if it's pleats Okay. So this is the other side this one also contains the front and the back and the side has also been joined this is the side it has been joined as well so I'll just put this aside and start gathering this and I'm done gathering you can see that the effect is actually coming out so right now I'm going to bring my band my concern is not even on the back my concern is on the front Okay, that's where my concern is because it has to overlap. And of course, like I said, that is the beauty. So this is the front. I'm going to just lap it this way. I'm going to lap it this way. This is the front, the center front. And you know the center front has an extension. So make sure you place the extension on the other extension. I hope you understand my point. Now the idea is that it has to overlap. All right, so that is the idea. This is it. You place it this way. Okay. So then I'll bring my band and place it. So the first thing I will do is to attach the side. This side seam is going to be attached to this side. then ensure you use it to cover all, right? So I'll just, because this one has zipper, I'll place the zipper allowance of the main fabric and attach together this way. I 
I am done with this. Can you see how beautiful? I'm done with this side now. So I'll go over to the back of the other side. Okay, and do the same thing. So I am done with this and I am left with the front. Yes. So this front, hmm, we have to be careful. Yes. Okay. So this is what I have on the front. And you know that the extension is five inches, right? So you may not be that accurate by the time you're gathering, but just be a bit close to it, right? So you can just measure about five inches from here, okay? And try as much as you can to, you know, expand the gathers a little to cover up the five inches so that the front part can cover well, right? So now, before you can do that, you need to spread well so that the band will, you know, lay well. And you measure from the center front of the band towards the right and towards the left from here five inches so i'll measure five inches and probably ensure my, i might not be 100 percent accurate ensure that the extension i have or the overlapping is about five inches you know so and the other side is also five inches but if, if you do four inches it's not bad okay so Bring the two together. Now it's three, the band, the upper one, and the lower one, making three. So I'll just spread it this way and attach. So you may not see the effect here on the waistline, but by the time you wear the skirt, of course, you are going to know if it's actually at the center or not, okay? Right now, I will take it to my sewing machine. So I'll just sew along this line. So once I finish attaching, sorry, yeah, sewing, stitching this, I'll remove the pins, then pull out the gathering thread. This thread, I'll pull it out. Then after that, I'll now attach my zipper to it. So just fix the zipper and close the center back. That's all I want to say. So that means this front is covered. Of course, there's an overlapping here. And when you want to wear your skirt, you pull it out on the back and wear it. Okay, so, so once I'm done with this, I'm going to show you style it guys this is the outcome and I'm loving it sincerely I'm loving it. the only problem I have is the fabric the fabric is not good at all I am telling you it's not good at all but right now you can see the band well finished beautiful as in very lovely yeah this is good and of course I like I said the the, the fabric is not okay so but you can get a quality fabric and, and do and make yours all right and you can see the wrap in the front is not revealing like the one in the picture is not too high this is what i actually want so if you want something that looks exactly like it is in the picture of course just you know do the needful and don't make the cuff to be as deep as mine okay so this is beautiful enough this is beautiful enough and i thank god i was able to achieve this but at some point i was a bit discouraged was it took me so much time you know to be able to arrive at this all right thank you so much for watching bye